It was heartbreaking, gut-wrenching. He felt like tossing in there a couple of times and I'd say, can't back out now. If George had it backed out of the fight, it would have been all over. You had to be realistic and you had to think, well, hang on, we don't have the money to take on a media giant like uh, Rupert Murdoch. What do we do? Do we just lie down and cop it? We needed the funds, as I said earlier, because we needed to, to pay the lawyers. Australia wide, the public are behind us. Do the supporters, other than the South's fans, want them back? That's the plan, that we'll have to raise a lot of money. Suddenly you, you knew who your friends were, and these were people who also thought that uh, that South were probably their second favourite team. The very next day, um, the Johns boys were in the newspaper announcing that if South were reinstated, they'd consider playing for the Rabbitohs. I don't know if it was the Herald or the Telly, but it, it would have been the Herald, I'd say. If the spirit in the room tonight is any indication, the court case is looking good. Cheers, fellas. Cheers, we got to a lot of people, you know, and we staged all sorts of events around the place. I'm here for the same cause, Sean. We're, we're here to get South Sydney back where they belong, mate. That's back in the competition. Every dollar counted, you know, people donated money from their pensions and so forth. I remember standing at the door uh, to greet the VIPs and, and people like Brett Kenny and Hazen or Masri were turning up and I was apologising and saying, look, sorry, your name's not on the VIP list and, and Brett Kenny and Hazen, the, their answer was the same. We're not VIPs, we're just here to support the club and help. Do you think the competition this year has lost something without the Rabbitohs? Yep, definitely.